and it should sound something like this. Um, I was just looking around at Head in the Heart on YouTube, and I didn't really see any videos for the intro and the picking to Down in the Valley. And that's probably my favorite song by them. Um, so I just thought I'd make a video. I figured it out the other day. And it's not too difficult. The only part is the picking, and you play a riff on top of a C chord. And uh, but once you get once you get the picking pattern down, um, it comes pretty naturally, and it's and it it's pretty fun to play. So. So here we go. Okay, the basic chords for the song is C, F, A minor, and then when he gets into the high pitched uh, chorus part in the middle somewhere, there's a G added on in the end as a four chord progression. But just for the intro, it's pretty much based on C, but it has F notes incorporated throughout the picking and some A minor notes. So that's what makes it pretty cool. For the picking, if you want to practice it, put your pinky on the uh, third fret and then make a C chord. And that's the beginning of the song. So take your thumb, put it on the second string. Take your pointer finger, third, or fourth, sorry, fifth, and then sixth, and your pinky is the last one. So you're only playing four strings. So that's the first pluck of the, of the strings in the song in the intro and then you're gonna play the second string and then you're gonna play the fifth string so it's, it's kind of a it's kind of a quick so you play all of them so if you just practice this for a while you're gonna get the pattern down and it'll be easier to play okay so once you get the picking down again it's just all four strings and then the second string and then fifth and fourth so it's so that's if you get that down pretty good the song will be way easier to play because all you're gonna do is just play the same C chord but you're gonna add these notes that we learned in the beginning on top of the on top of the picking and the C chord <clears throat> so for the first you're going to put your pinky on the third fret of the sixth string while playing a C chord and you're still picking the second, fourth, fifth, and sixth strings. So that's the first. That's it right there. And then the second chord you're going to be playing, or the second uh, part of the rift is, and then it goes open. And then you're going to be playing the third fret of the fifth string with the pinky and then it's going to go back open but these are cut this count is cut in half so it's going to be open third open again so it's going to be again start on the third fret of the sixth string with the picking so it's again just this It's just that with the picking and the C chord behind it. So that's what makes it sound, sound pretty cool overall as a song. So you're going to, one more time, third fret on the sixth string with your pinky with the C chord and the, and the picking we showed you. And then open. And then third fret with the pinky. And then you're going to go open, third, open again. So it's so it's a so for that picking it's a little difficult to get the timing because the um, it's a different count right at the end right there as the beginning so if you just uh, listen and try to figure it out it's pretty easy it's just I pretty much just um, pick each note individually instead of doing the for the last three notes and then for the second part of the rift you're gonna go this is where it transposes to F while you're staying in a, in a C formation so it's and 
and then you're going to take your middle finger and put it on the second fret of the fourth string. That makes the F sound. So all you're doing now is just going to play that second fret, and then you're going to pick the fifth string, and it's uh, already fretted on the first fret of the fifth string with this finger as the C chord. So it's And then you're just going to play it open as a C. So you're pretty much going F to C, but you're picking it and not changing your uh, finger on, on, the, on the chords. So overall it's going to sound and you're using the same um, picking we did at the beginning for that for the F change up. Okay, to finish the intro for the picking, you're gonna do the that same riff twice, and then you're gonna start into strumming, and you're gonna do these hammer-ons that they like to do in the song. It's just the middle finger. You take it off the C chord, and then you just place it right back on the second fret of the third string. So it's, and they do that a lot throughout the song. So for the intro, it's gonna sound like this. I'll play it slow first. Okay, for the part where um, he goes really high, kind of on the chorus, when it sl the song slows down and he just strums the one chord and goes, ooh, 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 ooh. that's just going to be an F to A minor to C to G. F, A minor, C to G. So that's pretty simple, and that goes on for a while. It starts to speed up too. Uh, buy some YooHoo.